So Anson, did you ever get angry over the injury, and what did you do? Oh, Daniel, did I get angry? Of course, I got angry. We all get angry. Who wants this horrible thing to happen to us? I was so injured, I couldn't move. I couldn't read. I couldn't do anything. I mean, I could sort of move my right side, but I couldn't sit up in the bed. I I was so frustrated, and I was so angry, and I was so frightened. Anger often comes out of fear and frustration. So yeah, for sure, I was angry. Would anger have helped me recover? Not really. Does determination help me? Sure. Does anger help me? No. If I got angry at my doctors or my nurses, would we have a good relationship and be able, would I be able to really work with them to recover? No. If I get angry at myself and I took my unhappiness out on myself, would I help myself recover? No. So what do I do with anger? Anger is real. I don't try to push it away. I don't try to make it into something else. I don't try to suppress it. That only makes it bigger. I acknowledge it. I recognize it. I step back from it. I see the anger and I understand all emotions are temporary. Research has been done that shows that an emotion, if we don't hold on to it and nurse it, will pass through our body in about 25 seconds. I recognize the anger. I let myself feel it, but I don't make a choice that involves hurting myself or somebody else with it. I choose instead to be with it and to be kind. To be kind to myself and to be kind to the people around me. I'm angry and I can be kind. I'm angry and I can know it's not going to be here forever. That's what I did with my anger. Rita, in the One Now video, there's one comment you made which touched deep into my heart. You said, there's just so much to do, and you refuse to give up. And you basically rebuilt a beautiful life after injury. How did you do that? Daniel, um, when I got the strokes and then I was brought back to the United States, I was so angry, frustrated, you know, and I took it all, you know, out of my family a lot. Um, and then, along with that, I had been in Taiwan for, uh, in the early 80s, and I, I go to Mark, she was on a push cart. She had something wrong with her legs. But she got her kids to school, went to all the vendors on the street, and got meat, and got vegetables, and da-da-da. And I thought, wow, if she can do that, I think that it's possible that I can get better from a stroke. And I didn't know how, right? But I, I thought of that, and I, I said, okay, it's possible. One of the thoughts that I would share about anger um, is based on um, a, a kind of rule of life that my father-in-law gave me that has stuck with me ever since. And that is that you can't antagonize and influence at the same time. And that is true of any relationship and particularly the relationship that we have with ourselves. And so anger is something to pay attention to and is, uh, it has a lot, to a lot of information to share with us um, that we can use. So it's, it's in a lot of ways, it's, you know, it's useful. Um, and then when we can take that information, um, what underlies the anger, um, and work with that, um, that will, first of all, ease the anger and also, um, you know, provide us with another avenue to support ourselves uh, back to um, 
better emotions or not better emotions, but just different emotions, more positive emotions, perhaps. I don't know. So that is very well said. And let me say this. Since the injury, the person I found it very difficult to have a relationship with is myself. I'm not who I used to be. I wanted my body to do this. It simply refuses or lets me down. Everything I was planning for myself, this body refuses to do it. So, you know, with other people, I think the two doctors I mentioned in my previous conversation always come into my mind. I always think about myself. I'm not going to let these two doctors down. I will do my best. And one more person, I'm not going to let Addison down. And my wife has done everything she can to give me the same message. So I'm not going to let my wife down. And I'm not going to let my brother and my parents down. They will be disappointed if I could not manage myself. And I'm just not going to let that happen.